All cops are not only bastards, but dumb motherfuckers. Florida sheriff looking to return $2 million in marijuana to rightful owner. Quote, very least we can do. So folks, I know not many of us have calendars these days, but I want y'all to check your phone. And I don't know about y'all, but on my phone lock screen, right? You can see this here. This is my lock screen. It says Monday, October 11th. Now, last time I checked, and let me double check. Uh, let's let me look at the calendar app. Last time I checked, it was 20. Yeah, okay, so it's 2021. All right, so it's 2021, and this is a story that we're reading. So let's read it. All right, so it's. A Florida sheriff has advertised on social media some 700 pounds of marijuana that authorities wanted to return to its rightful owner. The tongue-in-cheek post on Facebook by Brevard County Sheriff's Office argued that the officer, or rather the office, was, quote, just trying to do the right thing. Since at Brevard County Sheriff's Office, we always strive to do the right thing. Our narcotics agents are trying to identify the rightful owner, blah, blah, blah. They're trying to be funny. I mean, trying to identify the rightful owner of properties. The very least we could do, especially since there's a street value of roughly $2 million. I just don't understand. Like, it's weed, bro. Like, imagine there's an alternate universe where instead of weed, there's like, I don't know, like coffee beans in here. Like, I, I'm serious. What is, I ask you this, what is the difference between caffeine and marijuana? Well, caffeine is actually more physically addictive. Caffeine is actually pushed on you by most workplaces. Most workplaces tell you, oh, just drink a cup of coffee and get through it. There's coffee stores on every block. Caffeine is way more of a deadly drug and way more of an addictive drug than weed could ever dream of being. Imagine an alternate universe where these vacuum sealed bags are full of high fructose corn syrup. Almost every food in America has been infused with high fructose corn syrup. It's in everything. It's one of, if not the most physically addicting things on the planet. But no, it's weed that the boogeyman is trying to give you. Once we properly identify you as the rifle owner, we will gladly return your property and also make sure that both you and your property are kept in a secure area so that no one can try and rip you off. What the fuck? I've even offered a staycation for the owner to think about exactly how much your lost property means to you. What the fuck does that mean? The sheriff has made extensive use of social media during his tenure, the most politically incorrect sheriff in the county, using humor to engage the public. On YouTube, Ivy runs a number of joke programs to showcase various cases and aspects of his job, most notably the Wheel of Fugitive, where he spins a Wheel of Fugitives to determine the fugitive of the week. What the fuck? Ivy also encourages the fugitives to turn themselves in. He similarly has encouraged the owner. Like, I... They think this is funny. Like, I mean, I just, like, they think that this is, like, this is, like, wow, this is so funny. What a dumb fuck world that we're living in. I, I mean, like, this shit is so stupid here. Like, I mean, we are living in the twilight motherfucking goddamn. Like, imagine, right, going in a time machine 500 years ago, right here. Where we live in Florida, North Carolina, wherever you want to, wherever you're at in the United States, if you're in the United States, and imagine telling like indigenous tribes, all right, so guess what? They're not going to believe this. So a bunch of people with super white skin are going to come over. They're going to literally kill all of you and your family, and they won't even let anyone smoke weed. Like what? Like again? Like let's go back ten thousand years. Right, like, let's go back, like, look at, like, throughout all of humanity, humans love drugs. Drugs are cool as shit. Humans have been trying to get high since the dawn of the world. Right? Like, look at alcohol. Why is alcohol legal and weed isn't? Because white people like it. That's the only reason. These pasty-ass fucking losers from Europe 
didn't have good drugs. They had shit drugs, like alcohol. They were throwing fruits in a barrel and seeing what they could get. These motherfuckers were desperate. And so that's why they're trying to ban anyone else having a good fucking time. And it's just like, it's ridiculous, man. Like, again, the idea that it's it's October 11th, 2021. And weed is so illegal. Woo-hoo! Like, I just, so stupid. So stupid. 